Hey guys, Patton here. Welcome back to Will It Run on the SNES Classic. So today's request comes from many people, but also George Castillo, Julian Espas, and Rob Dove. They want to know if the Mortal Kombat series for the arcade will run on the SNES Classic. So we're going to take a look at that today. We're going to do Mortal Kombat 1, 2, and Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 because it's ultimate and upgraded. So we're going to do those three. So over here you see the three... Uh, games that you're going to be looking for, Revision 4.0 for Mortal Kombat, Revision L3.1 for Mortal Kombat 2, and Revision 1.2 for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. So once you have all of those on, on your uh, desktop, you have those downloaded, you're going to click Add More Games. You're going to go to your folder where your arcade ROMs are. And let's find MK2ZIP. MKLA4ZIP is what I have. And last, we have to go down UMK3 zip for Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. You're going to click Open. You can see File Systems here. Just click Import as Archive for all three. And then they will be added to your Hackchi uh, system here. So once you have them on your Hackchi, we're going to rename them. So we have our three games renamed, we have our box art. Next thing we need to do is to install our modules to get this to run. So we are going to use the MAME 2003 module with this. They seem to run fairly well. Actually, I only got these to run recently with the new upgraded MAME module. So with minor sound glitches before it was not great. So anyway, in my description, I'll have a download link for the arcade modules that you can download and install on your Super Nintendo Classic. So once you have those downloaded, you're going to click the Modules tab here. Install Extra Modules. And you're going to drag those modules from your downloaded folder into this box right here and they'll populate. If for some reason that doesn't work, in your HackG folder you'll have a User underscore Mods folder. You can drag them into that folder and that will cause them to populate in here as well. So once you have that and they're populated into this uh, box right here, you're going to highlight MAME 2003. You're going to put a check in the box next to it. You're going to click OK. After you click OK, a box is going to pop up asking you to hold the reset button down as you push the power button down on your Super Nintendo Classic. Then a bar is going to appear. It's going to start filling in green. Once it's filled up all the way, that means that module has been installed onto your system. So once the module is on your system, the next thing we have to do is change the command line for each game so that it will run with that module when you select it on your Super Nintendo Classic. So the command line is right here. You see slash bin slash zip. You're going to take out the zip. You're going to add MAME 2003 to each game. Last thing you're going to do is synchronize your selected games to your Super Nintendo by clicking this button right here. Same thing, you'll get a green bar. Once it fills up, those games will be on your Super Nintendo and ready to play. So everything's all set. Let's head over to the Super Nintendo and see how these run. And here we are at our SNES Classic. So, let's take these in order. Mortal Kombat Arcade. Let's see how this runs. Well, that's a good sign. Are you going to want to mash start here? Or it's just going to go through every single one of these ROM checks. So I'm mashing as hard as... There we go, we made it. Okay, good. Alright, coin up. You can tell there's a little bit of sound glitching. But it's just a little bit, it's not game breaking or anything like that. So, here we go, Mortal Kombat. We'll do Scorpion. Scorpion. I always like Scorpion for Mortal Kombat 1. And I remember his fatality. Alright, let's see if I can remember the. There's a block there. Gotcha. Alright. Ooh, he got what? I don't know what hit him, but okay. Oh no, not the Johnny Cage. So it sounds pretty good. I mean, like I said, there's there's some sound glitching. So that scorpion wins. But it runs really well. It runs a lot smoother than it did before. Before it was so laggy and, and it was just not Kick 
him in the face. All right, here we go. Scorpion win fatality. Very nice. All right, let's quit back. We got two more games to check out. Mortal Kombat 2 Arcade. This might be my favorite Mortal Kombat game from the older ones. I really like the um, the PS2 games too. So here we go. Midway Presents. Quarter up. Now you may not be able to hear that very well. For some reason this runs super quiet. So to try and fix that a little bit, you're going to hit start and select to get into your RetroArch menu. You're going to go to settings and audio. You're going to turn your audio volume level up all the way. See, this is it's, this is normally how it sounds. Listen. I don't hear anything. So go into this menu, audio, audio volume level. If you hit backwards, it'll take it right to 12. And that's what you want. So now you can hear a little bit better. We're going to be Reptile. He was my go-to guy in the arcade. Okay, Reptile versus Raiden. Got him. So again, the sound is a little little crackly. Not as much as Mortal Kombat 1. This actually sounds really good. And it plays really well too. Very smooth. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, Raiden, take that right in your face. Oh boy. He's tricking us with the teleports. He's, he's getting us with the electricity. But we can do this. I remembered. Fatality. Perfect. So, Mortal Kombat 2. Oh man, I don't remember the pit, the, uh, or the stage fatalities. That's, that's too advanced for me right now. Oh, we 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 got droned. That's okay. And cut up by the night or the uh, the fans. All right, so that was Mortal Kombat two. How about Ultimate Mortal Kombat three? And I noticed we didn't put the three in the title. That's okay. We're just testing. This is not for real. Quarter up. Toasty. Mortal Kombat. All right, so three, I think I used to play as Sub-Zero. I don't remember his, oh, there is some graphic issues that I did not see when I tested this before. So that's different. At least it doesn't show up in the gameplay. So let's, let's see if we can do some testing on this. Yes, that's my favorite. Hey, there's Shao Kahn in the back. Toasty. Flawless victory. I haven't done that in a while. Oh, that was close. Oh no, Scorpion got us. I don't remember the combos. I like the combo system, I just don't remember them. Scorpion's not doing much. Where is it? Where's that button? Well, there's that. That's not what I wanted, though. Almost. There we go. Just an uppercut. So that weird graphic glitch, that didn't happen for me before. So we're going to quit out. We're going to go back into it and see if that happens every time. Just real quick. Yeah, because that was new. Let's see. Okay, see, it didn't happen this time. So who knows, but as you can see, all three Mortal Kombat games run pretty well. A little bit of sound glitches, but they play very fluid and nice. So thank you so much to George Castillo, Julian, 
Isbos and Rob Dove for the request. If you guys have any games that you want to request me to check out on the SNES Classic, feel free to leave a comment, email me, or get me on my Twitter, and I will do my best to get them to work. So once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. So if you guys want to get in touch with me outside of the YouTube comments, you can feel free to follow my Twitter, at Pat and Place, or if you have any questions, uh, you can email me at my Gmail account, patentplaysgames at gmail.com. Thanks again for watching the video, and I'll see you guys next time.